good day, the Woodruff Road Christian Church, friends and family. Chris here on location in the narthex, the foyer of the church. Um, here with some devotional thoughts for today. I saw an online post from a fellow pastor yesterday, and it's had me thinking and chewing on some things about how do we respond as the church and as those here equipping the saints and jobs to equip the saints, how are we responding to this weird time in this isolation? What is our priority? For many, uh, and, and I don't want to fall into this trap or this routine, for many though, the, the, the inclination has been to provide every bit of service that we can so you, the church, feels as though you are still a part of the church by having services and, and weekly thoughts that you're led through so you can be the church or go to church like we traditionally do or plan to. On the other hand, some churches, and I would love to fall into this category, are equipping people to love each other and to be the church and to not go to a specific location so that they can identify themselves as the church but that they can be identified as the church wherever they are, regardless of location. It had me thinking about something in the Gospel of John. And oh, there's a shock. It has me thinking about this, some of the last words that Jesus has with his disciples, with his closest friends. And he gives them this new command. I love this. I absolutely love this. He said, I got something new for you guys. He's gone through, he's washed their feet. He's thrown them the the cost of service. He's shown them the power of service by, by washing their feet. He's talking about betrayal and denial and being abandoned. And he says, but wait, I have something new for you, a new command, John 13, 34. So now I'm giving you a new commandment. Love each other. Just as I have loved you, you should love each other. Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. That's our simple question today. Are we proving to the world that we are disciples of Christ by our love? Are we waiting so we can get back together as the church on Sunday morning at 10.45 a.m. at our prescribed time so that we can be the church? Is that what we're waiting for? Or are we taking every opportunity wherever we are to follow this new command that Jesus is giving each of us to love each other and to be the church. Now, more than ever, do we need to prove who we are and whose we are. That our lives, our hearts belong to Christ. And if that's true, we will continue to show this world his love and show his, this world that we are the church. Follow this new command and love each other.